Hi, welcome to Breaking the Panels. My name's Ashley, and today we're going to be taking a look back at one of my favourite movies of all time, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles from 1990. I've been a fan of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles for as long as I can remember. I can remember waking up at the crack of dawn, rushing downstairs, and watching the 80s cartoon before school. I collected the toys, I still read the comics, and I've seen all the movies, but the one that stands out for me the most is the movie from 1990. Our family grows. The city itself will be our playground to use as we please. Rewarding ourselves and punishing our enemies. We've been looking for you, Miss O'Neill. There is a new enemy. Freaks of nature. Together, we will punish these creatures. What the heck was that? Looked like sort of a big title in a trench coat. This movie is dark, gritty, and full of interesting characters that mirror their comic book counterparts perfectly. The brothers are unique, interesting, and individual, and suffer from all the same angst, doubt, and changes that any teenager would go through, be it human or mutant. Leonardo and Raphael showcase this the best, as Leonardo is constantly weighed down by his responsibilities and ongoing struggle with angst-filled Raphael. But like all iterations of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, their dynamic is always tempered and guided by their ever-loving father and sensei, Master Splinter. These beloved characters look fantastic, created by Jim Henson's animatronics. They look like they come straight from the original Mirage Studios comic, created by Kevin Eastman and Peter Laird. And of course, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles are joined by intrepid reporter April O'Neil and hockey stick wielding vigilante Casey Jones, played by Elias Cotius. <laughs> The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles are drawn into an ancient blood feud against the evil Shredder and his clan of foot soldiers as he attempts to take control of the New York City underworld through fear and intimidation. After, two foot soldiers are expertly dispatched by Raphael as they attempt to kidnap April O'Neil in a subway station. Now, at exactly what point did we lose control here? Maybe somebody ought to tell them that we're the good guys. Yeah. Any thoughts? I've only got one thought. This guy knows where Splinter is. While the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles return to April O'Neil's apartment for some celebratory pizza, the evil Foot Clan have broken into the turtles' lair and brutally kidnapped and beaten Master Splinter. What follows is a beautifully crafted story of revenge, brotherhood, and forgiveness. The fight choreography in this movie is superb. Be it one-on-one -on -one or a mass brawl, the fight choreography is on point at all times. Looks like your boys are gonna need a little, uh... Where you go? This movie for me really is faultless and completely holds up to the test of time. Hopefully, now with the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles being more popular now than ever, a movie worthy of this great masterpiece will be right around the corner. Go! Move it, will ya? Oh, you let him blow right by you! Can you believe this guy? Come on! Don't just ninja kick the damn rabbit! Do something! Hey! April! Hey, you are great! Thanks, man. She called me Mikey. <laughs> What's your favourite iteration of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? Please comment, like and subscribe and you can always find us on Facebook at Breaking the Panels.